Hi everyone, I'm Faye from Blue Tree Education. Today I'm going to share with you a simple yet effective tip to help you solve Circle's math problem sums. Before we begin, do check out our PSLE Math Discussion Group where we discuss different types of math problem sums. Do check out our Blue Tree website where you can find out information about our current programs. Have you ever encountered a Circle's question and you have no idea how to solve it? Today I'm going to share with you a tip on how you can visualize the diagram better to help you solve the question. Let's take a look at one of the most basic circles question. What you see in this diagram here is actually a quadrant and it is also made up of simple shapes that's overlapping. Let's break up the shapes and you will see that there's a triangle overlapping the quadrant. Step one, find the area of the quadrant. You would have already learned the formula of the circle so to find the area of the quadrant, you just have to take 1 quarter multiplied by the area of the circle, which is 1 quarter times pi times r times r. Next, you will need to find the area of the triangle. As you have learned this in primary 5, the area of the triangle is half times base times height. And so you will see the answer as follows. In order to find the shaded region, it's actually what we describe it as half a leaf. You will see that this shape actually looks like part of a leaf. It is what we call it half a leaf, or sometimes they call it half a rugby ball. So next is to take what you have done on step 1 to subtract step 2. So take the area of the quadrant minus the area of the triangle, and this will help you find the area of the shaded region. Let's take a look at the second question. This question is slightly more difficult than the basic question. Take a closer look at it, and you will see half a leaf in the diagram. Split that shaded region into two parts. There is this method that we have taught before. It is called cut and paste. Cut these two regions and paste it into the unshaded part as shown. And here you get the basic shape again, which is a quadrant with a triangle overlapping the shape. Do you remember what we have learned in the first diagram? We take the area of the quadrant minus the area of the triangle. And so this is how you can solve this second question. I hope you have found the math tip useful. Remember to give it a try the next time you see a similar circles question again. Remember to follow us on our social media to be updated on the current program, as well as to learn more tips and exam strategies. See you again!